<laughs> it's there. Morning all. It's a lovely, miserable, foggy day in Whitby. And I'm after one thing today, and that's an ammonite called Liparoceros, or Lipo for short. I'll throw a picture up in a second of what that actually looks like for you. So them ammonites are reasonably common in Dorset, down in Charmouth. In Whitby, they're incredibly rare, and they're only found in a couple of places here. So you really have to know where you're looking to find one. The probability of me finding one's probably not that high, but you're always in with a chance. There might be something there, there might not be. This is what happens. If you don't go out, you don't get what you want. Ooh. So let's see what I can find while I'm on my search for it. Hopefully there's a few other nice ammonites and maybe some more bone. Let's go. I've just found two really good things. One of them's clear as day, which I'll give you a clue. That right there. Then there's another one in the video too. But let's look at this one first. So as you can see, lots of imprints on the top, but up here, look, there's a lot of small ones, which indicates that there's probably a lot more inside. If you see around the edges, you can tell that it runs all the way through. So that one I'll take back. That's really nice. Let's see then. I mean, it's got potential. There's a lot of tenucostatum ammonites in there, but a lot of them are all warped and whatnot. There's one that might be nice there. I mean, they run all the way through, but how well preserved any are inside is uh, is a different story. Might pull that in my bag just to be safe. While I'm at it, I've just picked up this. Now there's a big fat ammonite in there. But as I've said before, this material doesn't preserve them very well. The chances of it being preserved inside is probably slim to none, as you can tell just from the outer world look. There's no mineralization, it's all mud infill. But let's hit it anyway. Well, I was half wrong. It is kind of preserved, but it's just a partial whirl. Oh well. Well, I'm in the spot where I found the ichthyosaur skull, a crocodile block recently, and I've just found another one, but it's, it's a bit worn. But let's see it anyway. Can you make it out yet? Damn, look at that. Paddle digits, big verts, little verts, ribs. There's still an opportunity for more to be in there, so I'll take it back with me anyway, but I mean, that's a shame that I just got to it too late. Bummer. Oh, that looks like a nice dac. A little worn on the edge, but that'll come out nice, that. As if anybody might have left it. Get in. What a shame that I couldn't get to that quick enough. Really, really worn Elegantiserous block. That's been in the sea for quite a long time, especially with the pyrite content. That would have been beautiful, but you can't win them all. Do you know the saying, one man's loss is another man's treasure? Well, down here, is a prime example. So this block right here has clearly been split, but right there, look, is a very large pleurocerus. Now, it does come here and wear away a little bit, and that's fine, but I wouldn't ever leave something like that. There's potential for a couple of others in there and it just looks lovely. So that's going in my bag, definitely. So I've just been having a ponder about everything and I don't think I've ever had this much bone in such a short space of time. You know, over the years I've had plenty of bits. There's never really anything special. I've got a couple of nice blocks, but that's about it. And then in the space of two months, I've had some of the best bone finds I've ever had. Something's, something's there this year. I can feel it. I can just, I can just sense that something is going to happen this year. That's going to be really good. Come on. So it's not my liposaurus that I was looking for, but I actually have found a really rare ammonite. I doubt there's any more in there, but I'm going to split the block down just to make sure. <sighs> so I've collected that Protogrammoceros that you saw in the previous clip, and now I've found something else that's quite rare. But the issue is now I've got to uh, empty my bag out or some stuff, is the or some stuff at the very least, which I don't like doing, but for the sake of your back, it's worthwhile, especially if you've just got Dax and you've collected Dax before and they're not that good quality. Chuck them out if you find something better. So originally this line was already cracked. This wasn't though. So I've just given it a quick tap, and as I've opened it up, I've gone, oh my days. So this, I'm not 100% certain about. It looks like an Ormoceros, but it's very large for an Ormoceros. I'm not sure whether it's a Trago either, but we'll soon find out. Could even be an Amalthius actually, come to think of it, but the keel doesn't look like that. So I'll take it home, glue it up, prep it, and let's see what it's all about. Down here could be something really, really rare. So I did start chiseling it out. So this is just in a piece of a block. That's all on the floor, but 
I'm not getting my hopes up too much, but this looks like a Lytoceros. It's a little worn here, which is fine, whatever. I've not had one from this area before, so we're going to chisel this out. <laughs> it's there. So there it is, coming round there. And there's the mouth border right there. Apologise for the shaky hands, but I've been chiselling this out for ages. <laughs> Got it. That was hard work. As I've said before, oh dear, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, nothing beats this.